This is the Vostied Knives Raccoon. It's a recent release and it's sort of a more budget release for them. Um, but man, I have really, um, uh, this has really worked its way into my collection and into my rotation kind of uh, without, with, with great ease, let me just put it that way. Uh, this was sent to me by the company Vostied to check out. They've sent me other knives in the past and I've really liked them, so they thought I'd like this. Um, they were right. I took this out of the box uh, after having seen some other people uh, who had done reviews on this. I took it out, and I just sort of started carrying it. And I used it right away on cardboard. Um, we've had tons of Amazon boxes, uh, as I'm sure many uh, U.S. households have. Uh, in the past couple of weeks. And so I just started with this. I was like, this looks like uh, a purpose-driven EDC knife, you know, be perfect for cardboard. And uh, I was right. <laughs> it is perfect for cardboard. You got this really high height flat grind. It's almost a full flat grind. But you got that little bit to grip onto if you have, I don't know if that's enough if you have a, a consistent angle grinder or if you would have to take off the uh, or consistent angle sharpener if you'd have to take off this thumb stud and clamp it onto that. But you have a little bit of a flat, and then this broad blade is pretty much all flat ground. <coughs> and then to look at it, it's pretty much a spear point, uh, offset as it is by uh, the, the width of it, but it's, it appears to be a spear point. I'll hold it up to the sky, and when I don't, when I can't see the flat and I'm only looking at the silhouette, it looks pretty spear pointed. All right, 14C28N, uh, you've got uh, Jimpin up here. Uh, I don't wanna call it ceremonial, but it's it's best when you're kind of choked up here on this little landing point, which by the way, is a great spot for that purpose. Um, I'm not the kind of guy who needs a choil, dedicated choil there, uh, but when there's a little space, like a lot of cold steels offer a little bit of space there, uh, I like it. It feels good if if you need it. Uh, but I find it rare that I need to choke up personally. Um, sometimes the choil is just built into the, you know, like my sage, my sage too. Uh, you only want to use that with the, with the choil. That's kind of how it's designed. But here, uh, not necessarily. This feels really good in saber grip. Feels good choked up. And... Um, I think that's due to the ergonomic, the neutral yet ergonomically, I don't know, it's kind of sculpted, right? You got this, I love this part for the pinky, and then you have your your uh, two other fingers here, and then the, the index there, or if you choke up. But it's just, it's very comfortable. I like this a lot, this falling off point. I, I feel like if you're going to have a um, handle that is not, long enough to come around the backside and give you a little bird's beak to hold on to. Uh, it should do this. I like it when when blade when handles do that. You're still gripping on with your your pinky, uh, but it's a little less committed than when you come up here or if you had a longer handle. Uh, button lock, as you can see, and I really like this button lock. Uh, my my other favorite button lock was my Kaiser Big Lighter XL, which is now my brother's Kaiser Big Lighter XL. Uh, but this one is a little different in that you really have to press the button in almost with the tip of your thumb uh, to get it to go all the way in. Uh, it, it reminds me a little bit of how ProTech does their buttons on their automatics, uh, just slightly recessed so that the casual contact of it won't won't uh, depress it. That's kind of what you get here. So that when I am in this sort of grip like this, and my finger does maybe touch, it, there's no danger of that folding. Whereas with that Kaiser, the Glider XL, it was a little bit more, even though there was, um, there's a flipper tab there to stop it from folding. And presumably you're pushing against the blade uh, edge anyway, so it's not going to close on you. But I don't know, just just touching that and having it weaken the the lockup, it's not a good thing. And on this, that recessed 
uh, little landing area for it, and then the sort of short, stubby um, button makes for a, a little bit safer setup. Safer. Uh, very nice little touch I just noticed, uh, or just remembered, um, is this little filler tab. It's funny, I was watching uh, Jared Neves' video on this, and I was like, his came with a flipper tab. What, you know, what gives? And then I looked at mine, I'm like, oh, I have one. <laughs> I didn't notice it, but it's a nice touch, man. It's so much nicer than just having a, a pocket, an empty pocket that you feel there. Because my hand, I, I'm the sort where my fingers will worry at it. It's like when you had a loose tooth when you were a little kid. And it's like, you just keep touching it with your tongue, even though it hurts. It'd be the same thing. Like, even though it annoys me, I'm still going to just touch it and let it annoy me more. So thank you, Vastid, for helping me avoid some of my neurotic habits. Uh, here you have a, a recessed pocket uh, clip here. I love that. You have the flat screws. I love that. What I don't love is there's very little clearance there. That is not a very tall loop over there. But I like that it it leaves a little bit out. Just because it's a loop over clip doesn't mean it's got to be way up at the top. Yeah, I like that there's a little bit to grab onto. And if you're a lanyard or fob guy, it's it's uh, in a great place to be outside your pants. Uh, otherwise, pretty plain uh, pocket clip. Uh, the micarta is nice. It has not... I've used this uh, quite a bit in the four weeks I've had it or so. And the micarta has not taken on the funk like some other micartas in my life have. Uh, so that has maintained a real kind of new look, which is maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like it's most evident around the pocket clip and I don't see any darkening or light. Uh, I don't see like a light halo under it. So... You got to earn it with this one, uh, the the cool micarta look. Uh, so basically, I dig this knife. Uh, this is not, uh, honestly, this is not the sort of knife I generally gravitate towards, but it's the sort of knife that I need more of in my um, collection. That is really useful uh, tool type knives that I'm going to use a lot because they work really well. Uh, the Vostid, Vostid folders and their kitchen knife, the Morgan, they sent me one of those a year ago, and we use that every night. That is awesome. I really, I think Vostid is a really good knife company. They're they're making some really uh, excellent knives and some pretty unique. I mean, look at this. It's like a looks like a, a Barong or a Bob Lum Chinese knife. I can't remember what what, what that was called, but. It's got that leaf-shaped blade, that weird angle for just really maximizing the blade and uh, raking down that belly in such a way that it almost acts like a kukri. And then they have the nightshade, this luxury uh, hollow ground clip point, beautiful blade, uh, S35VN, or no, I'm sorry, M390 blade steel with this uh, really cool uh, carbon fiber. I can't remember if it's end cut or there's something unique about this carbon fiber and I love the feel of it. Also, I like that it doesn't look like basket weave carbon fiber. This knife is uh, got the the uh, front flipper. It's got the regular flipper. It's got the, uh, the fuller. Uh, so I'm loving, I'm loving the Vostid folders. They're really, really nice, cool designs. Um, this one, I, I really like it because it's sort of, uh, well, it's inexpensive by comparison, definitely by comparison to this. I think this is the most expensive of the bunch, and this is only about 145 bucks, I believe, uh, with M390 in carbon fiber. Um, this, I think, is in the 80 or 90 realm, and then they made this in different materials, too. But this is just, to me, this is like Civivi competition this is uh you know this is right up there with some of those really finely ground civivi knives uh with the with the button locks and uh so i think they're doing an awesome job at competing in that in that area very nice looking blade i should have cleaned it sorry i didn't clean it i get i don't like that i'm not the sort of person 
who, uh, well, you know, I obsess over keeping them clean and stropped. So I am ashamed, but hey, look, at least it, it shows that I cut some tape. You can see I cut some tape. So I know of what I speak, people. Thank you for watching. This is such a cool knife, the Vostede Raccoon. And Vostede, thank you for sending uh, this to me. Um, you are not mistaken. I do really, really like it. All right. Thanks for watching.